So hi everyone, good afternoon. I'm Nathan Tracy from TE Connectivity and I'm also the OIF's VP of Marketing. And I wanted to take a few minutes this afternoon and give you a tour of the OIF's co-packaging demo that we have here at OFC. The concept of co-packaging is to create a new architecture that will change the power increase trend over time that we see in the, in the cloud and the computing architectures. If we look at that um, increase in power consumption over the various years and the various speeds, we clearly can see that we're gonna run out of power, we're gonna run out of the ability to deploy systems. So if we can change that curve, then we'd buy more time and we allow, a, allow the, the networking industry to keep up with those um, industry needs. And the way that we can do that is if we can move the optical transceivers closer to the switch surdies, then we can have a very low power channel because it's very simple to equalize the channel and we take all that complex equalization off the table. So over here, we have a mock-up of a switch and here we see our traditional switching silicon. And in this case, this would be um, a 50 terabit silicon. And you can see that we have um, 16 3.2 terabit co-packaging engines, optical engines mounted, again, like I said, very close to the switching silicon. So it's a very simple electrical channel and very easy to equalize. Now we have optical uh, transmit and receive signals coming to optical adapters on the faceplate. Now, when we do this, of course, you know we're dissipating a significant amount of heat in the 50 terabit switch and in the 3.2T optical engines. So this is a thermal environment where we might not want to have our lasers that we're using to generate the transmit signal. So we're going to remotely locate those lasers here on the faceplate with ELSFP. And ELSFP is a external laser, small form factor pluggable. And you can see it has optical connectors, blind made optical connectors, an electrical connector, and it goes right into the faceplate. And then there's fiber connecting that laser source through that blind mate connector directly to each one of the transceivers. So this enables us to reduce the power trend or the increase trend as we go to a next generation by putting these very close together. The other thing that we get with co-packaging is the ability to increase the bandwidth density. So here we're talking about a 50 terabit scenario. So you can see how this enables us to, in a one RU form factor, get to that next generation solution. So let me show you some of the various components that go into this uh, mock-up that we have here. So some of the things you'll recognize, we have the uh, 50 terabit switch, we have the ELSFP, external laser pluggable. Here's the socket that goes underneath those optical engines. I should have shown, here's the optical engine, top side and bottom side. So these engines will go on these sockets like we saw in the mock-up. Here's an external uh, laser package again. And then the other thing that we can do with this architecture is instead of putting the optical engine into those sockets, we could put a copper cable that could go right to a faceplate where we could have pluggable form factors. So the move to co-packaging doesn't necessarily uh, preclude the use of faceplate pluggable transceivers. So with this architecture, we give the industry a way to change their architecture, try to change the power curve, but at the same time, we also give a method to preserve the pluggable use case as well. And as we, as we talk about going to 200 gigabits per second lanes, um, it's going to be a very challenging signal integrity scenario to do that. And by using this high performance twin X cable, it gives us a way to do that. So let me show you a few of the ELSFP demos. Come on down here. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm doing a video. So here we show an ELSFP operating demo. And in this case, 
the uh, OIF member that brought this is AOI. And so we have an actual um, laser module uh, generating the transmit signals and we're showing the results of those multiple lasers. So we have eight lasers and you can see the, the output that we can have. And it's very important that we have the ability to get high power lasers to, that, to those transceivers so that we can service that full 50 terabits of bandwidth. And so that's a key requirement of the ELSFD form factor is to enable high power laser platforms with that blind mate pluggability. Here's another demo. This one is from ONET and they're doing the same thing. So you see their pluggable module and they're driving a signal and you see the results that they're giving there. So again, demonstrating the ability of this concept and this architecture with the blind mate optical connector, the faceplate pluggable laser module to enable a co-packaging architecture. Now they have one more demo with regard to ELSFP and this one is put together by Cisco. And what we're doing here, instead of putting the lasers inside the ELSFP, we're using an external laser source. So we have a high power laser and we're bringing the light in through a splitter and we're gonna couple that light through one of the blind mate connectors, loop it back through a second blind mate connector, loop it into a third and back out into a fourth and show that we're able to achieve a very um, respectable loss in those blind mate connectors. So again, demonstrating that this concept will support the next generation uh, co-packaging architectures. So what we have happening in the OIF is we have um, this co-packaging development track where we're developing the external laser, the ELSFP. We're also developing the 3.2 terabit module that you see, as well as the copper solution. And so we're bringing this solution to market as an industry standard that can enable companies to begin to change the trajectory of their power curve, bring a new architecture, and enable the industry to, to generate the volumes and the implementations that will give us a successful future for um, network architectures. I should also mention that co-packaging technology is also very interesting in the compute, compute platforms, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, high-performance compute, where they have a significant density challenge also, and they are using some of these same methodologies. So the OIF, a member-driven organization, has come together to, to start development of these solutions, bring these prototype products to market, and demonstrate the ability of the industry to transition to this next generation solution. Thank you for coming to see us today.